England in white shirts and Scotland come onto the field in sedate international fashion for the keenly awaited clash between these age-old foes. In charge is Dutch referee Leo Horn. Jimmy Armfield leads England, Eric Caldo, Scotland. England win the toss and 100,000 spectators see the great game begin. Scotland playing from right to left. 30,000 have crossed the border to cheer them. John White puts over a dangerous centre, but Banks is able to clear. Again, the Scots attack. And again, Banks keeps his goal intact. This is the sort of play the crowd love. And the majority love it even more when Bobby Smith gets going. In the Scots' goal, his club mate, Bill Brown, gets the ball away. Now tragedy. Both Smith and Caldo on the ground injured. It looks serious as the Englishman is put onto a stretcher. The Wembley turf claims two more victims. Scotland's captain is also carried off. His left leg broken in two places. Never before has an international had so bad a start. But the game goes on. Left half Jim Baxter steadies himself. Shoots. A goal for Scotland. Two minutes later, Willie Henderson's brought down. A penalty. It's Baxter to take the kick. Another goal. England are two goals down after only half an hour. And not even Jimmy Greaves can find the target. Once more, Scotland bear down on the goal, and again, Banks has to save. And at half-time, it's still Scotland 2, England 0. England kick off in the second half. England are on the move now, as if determined to atone for their bad first half. And the one English forward to show international form so far, Brian Douglas, wins a corner. No danger to the Scots here. Scotland on the offensive again, and now it's their turn to win a corner. Willie Henderson places the ball perfectly. How the English goal escapes seems a miracle. For a short spell, the game is all England, yet the goals simply do not come. Jimmy Greaves just can't find the net. At last, consolation for England. Douglas scores. Nothing can stop Scotland. This is the finest team they've fielded for many a year. But there are no more goals. Very deservedly, Scotland are the winners 2-1 when the final whistle blows. What a wonderful side. What a marvellous victory. If the Scots are jubilant now, you should have seen them that evening.